Hello everyone, this is Michael from Battery Hacker. In a previous video, we discussed how to connect solar panels in series and parallel, along with the benefits and drawbacks of each method. However, those examples were based on identical solar panels. In real-world installations, things are not always that simple. Very often, you may need to connect solar panels that are different in voltage, current, power rating, or even brand. When panels with different specifications are connected together, performance losses are possible if wiring is not done correctly. That is why, in this video, we will go through practical examples to understand how to wire different solar panels while reducing power loss and avoiding wiring mistakes. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to Battery Hacker like this video, and feel free to ask your questions in the comments. Let us quickly review the fundamentals using two identical solar panels. Each panel has power, 305 watts, voltage, 32.5 volts, current, 9.38 ampere. Using the basic electrical formula, power equals voltage multiplied by current. So, 32.5 volt multiplied by 9.38 ampere gives us approximately 305 watt, which confirms the panel rating. When solar panels are connected in series, the voltages add together, while the current remains the same. With two identical panels in series, voltage becomes 65 volts. Current remains 9.38 amperes. Now, if we calculate the power, 65 volts multiplied by 9.38 amperes gives us a total of 610 watts. In a parallel connection, the situation is the opposite. The current adds up, while the voltage stays the same. So, with the same two panels connected in parallel, voltage remains 32.5 volts. Current becomes 18.88 amperes. Multiplying 32.5 volt by 18.88 ampere again gives us 610 watt. So, with identical panels, both series and parallel connections deliver the same total power, but with different voltage and current levels. Now, let us look at a series parallel configuration, which is very common in real systems. For this example, we will use four identical solar panels each rated at power, 305 watt. Voltage, 32.5 volt. Current, 9.38 ampere. First, we create two groups. In group one, we connect two panels in series. This gives us voltage, 32.5 volt plus 32.5 volt equals 65 volt. Current, 9.38 ampere power 610 watt. The same values apply to group 2, since the panels are identical. Now, we connect group 1 and group 2 in parallel. After this parallel connection, voltage remains 65 volt current, increases to 18.88 ampere. If we calculate the total power, 65 volt multiplied by 18.88 ampere equals 1,220 watt which is simply four times 305 watt. At this current level, connectors can still be used, but many installers prefer bus bars because they can safely handle much higher current. Now, things start to get interesting. Let us see what happens when we connect two solar panels with different specifications. Panel 1 specifications. Power, 305 watt. Voltage, 32.5 volts. Current, 9.38 amperes. Panel 2 specifications. Power, 175 watts. Voltage, 18.1 volt. Current, 9.67 ampere. The theoretical total power of these two panels is 305 watt plus 175 watt equals 480 watt. But this is only theory. Let us see what actually happens in real wiring. In a parallel connection, 
the voltage is limited to the lowest voltage panel, while the currents add together. Here, the lowest voltage is 18.1 volt. The total current becomes 9.38 ampere plus 9.67 ampere equals 19.05 ampere. Now we calculate the real power. 18.1 volt multiplied by 19.05. Ampere equals 344.8 watt. Compared to the theoretical 480 watt, this setup only delivers about 71.8% efficiency. This is a significant power loss. Now, let us wire the same two panels in series. In a series connection, voltages add up. Current is limited by the lowest current panel. The voltage becomes 32.5 volt plus 18.1 volt equals 50.6 volt. The lowest current is 9.38 ampere. Now calculating power, 50.6 volt multiplied by 9.38 ampere equals 474.6 watt. This gives us an efficiency of about 98.87%, which is much better than the parallel connection. This happens because the current values of both panels are very close, so losses remain minimal. Now let us move to a more advanced example that will really improve your understanding of mixed solar panel wiring. In this setup, we are using three solar panels with different specifications. Panel 1. Power, 305 watt. Voltage, 32.5 volt. Current, 9.38 ampere. Panel 2. Power, 175 watt. Voltage, 18.1 volt. Current, 9.67 ampere. Panel 3. Power, 100 watt. Voltage, 20.4 volt. Current, 4.91 ampere. The theoretical total power of this system is 305 watt plus 175 watt plus 100 watt equals 580 watt. Let us now test different wiring methods and see how efficiency changes. In a series connection, voltages add up, but the current is limited by the lowest current panel. Total voltage. 32.5 volt plus 18.1 volt plus 20.4 volt equals 71 volt. Lowest current. 4.91 ampere. Now calculating power. 71 volt multiplied by 4.91 ampere equals 348.5 watt. Compared to the theoretical 580 watt, efficiency drops to only 60.1%. This is clearly a poor configuration and should be avoided. In a parallel connection, the voltage is limited by the lowest voltage panel, while the currents add up. Lowest voltage, 18.1 volt. Total current. 9.38 ampere plus 9.67 ampere plus 4.91 ampere equals 23.96 ampere. Now, calculating power. 18.1 volt multiplied by 23.96 ampere equals 433.92 watt. This is better than the series setup, but still far from ideal. Now, let us try to improve the system by creating two groups. Group 1. Panels 2 and 3 connected in series. Voltage 18.1 volt plus 20.4 volt equals 38.5 volt. Current 4.91 ampere. Group 2. Panel 1 alone. Voltage 32.5 volt. Current 9.38 ampere. Now these two groups are connected in parallel. Final system values. Voltage is limited to 32.5 volts. Current becomes 4.91 amperes plus 9.38 amperes equals 14.29 amperes. Now calculating power. 32.5 volt multiplied by 14.29 ampere equals 464.4 watt. This improves efficiency to about 80.1%, but it is still not perfect. For panels with very different specifications, 
The most efficient solution is to use separate MPPT charge controllers. Configuration 1. Panels 1 and 2 connected in series to one MPPT controller. Voltage 50.6 volt. Current 9.38 ampere. Power 474.6 watt. Efficiency 98.87%. Configuration 2. Panel 3 connected alone to a second MPPT controller. Power delivered 100 watt. No power loss. This setup allows each MPPT controller to operate at its own maximum power point without being affected by weaker panels. Final takeaway. When mixing solar panels, similar current values work best in series. Similar voltage values work better in parallel. Panels with very different ratings perform best with separate MPPT controllers. This approach gives maximum efficiency, flexibility, and system reliability. If you found this helpful, subscribe to Battery Hacker, like the video, and drop your questions in the comments.